Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because we have got something very, very special. It's not often that we get to review a playset or a ring. In fact, it's so special. I'm sitting down uh, and it's all because I might fall over if I don't because this is the official retro ring from Mattel. Uh, what is so epic about this is this ring is based on those early 1990s rings. Uh, they're the rings I used to play with as a little boy. So uh, this really, really takes me back to my youth. Um, and obviously you've got all the retro figures that Mattel are making now. And finally those retro figures will have a home with the official retro ring. What's really cool about this is that Mattel haven't just simply remade that 90s ring. They've improved upon it. They've made it even better uh, in several ways. I mean, the first way that really jumps out is look at Macho Man there. He's got the ring steps in his hands. That's because on this ring, you can actually take the ring steps off. On the 90s ring, it was all like molded. It was just one piece, so you couldn't remove them. But this uh, obviously gives you a whole different uh, world to play with. You can have like stairs matches uh, and disqualifications and things like that. As well as that, uh, there's actually two belt holders. Uh, if you can see there on the 1990s ring, there was only one belt holder. But with this, you actually get the two, uh, which makes loads of sense. Because if you're having like a tag team championship match then you're going to have two belts, aren't you? Uh, what I used to have to do was put one on the holder and then just one on the table next to it. Uh, I don't know why they didn't give us two in the 90s. You know, things were things were hard back then. <laughs> we couldn't afford things like two belt holders. Uh, but we can now, thanks to Mattel. Uh, not only that, if we flip it around, you can see what the other side of the ring looks like. And there you can see there are two uh, TV monitors as well uh, that are molded onto the table. Uh, again, that's an improvement uh, on the original ring because that original ring just had one. Uh, so yeah, there's some nice detail all over it. There is one criticism, one criticism that I've got and that is they have got rid of the holes in the top of the turnbuckles. Uh, that's not the biggest problem in the world, but you could always put accessories into there if you wanted to. So I think, was it like Hacksaw Jim Duggan came with a flag? In fact, the flag might have come with the ring. I can't remember, but I remember that I had a USA Stars and Stripes flag in one of the corner turnbuckles. Uh, and then sometimes if I had like the big boss man, then I would have a nightstick in there and I would try and have like a nightstick match and, you know, do things like that. Uh, so it doesn't look like Mattel are interested in pole matches uh, or putting flags in the corners or anything like that. It is a very, very small criticism though because I think the rest of the ring is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm a big fan of the retro range because they've brought back people like Ric Flair from his 1980s heyday. You've got Macho Man from the NWO, but then they've mixed it with, uh, you know, current roster stars like Kevin Owens, Big E, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, uh, and they're bringing out more and more all the time. Uh, in fact, you can see some coming soon superstars down here uh, so we've got Bray Wyatt, Daniel Bryan, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sting, Shawn Michaels uh, and you've got Chris Jericho, Sheamus and a Kurt Angle is on the way. How much fun does this look? You can see now why I'm so excited. Uh, so, if we're going to open it up, we're going to need our good friend, the Spife. Yeah, there he is. Uh, so, actually, I don't even know if I need the Spife. Let's see if this will... Oh, I will. Here we go. Bang. That is no drama for the Spife. It says down here, unassembled. Uh, I'm not too sure how much assembling is going to be required. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, man, this brings back such memories. 
Look at that. You've even got the indentation as to where the logo goes. Uh, you've got this around the edge, which I never really understood what it was. I think it's like the edge of the canvas or what's meant to be the canvas. Um, I always thought it would be good if they made a steel cage. I have seen uh, custom steel cages. Hopefully that's something that Mattel uh, might explore. Um, the other thing they might explore as well is uh, when it comes to the tables. And here you can see one of the tables. This is the uh, title belt holder. Have I got a title belt? Here we go. Look, we've got the WWE uh, Championship. This is obviously just off a normal uh, Mattel Elite. So if we put the belt over the thing, i got to be honest, it's a little tight. I thought that this would have been uh, measured a little bit better. Uh, it does go on though, but that is very tight. That is on like the, the last setting that it can be on, but it's on there. Um, and so yes, that is very cool. Um, and what they had with the original ring was like a little sound FX thing that had buttons and then you could press them and it would be like the referee counting one, two, three. It would be the ring bell. It would be the crowd cheering. Wouldn't surprise me if Mattel do exactly the same thing. Uh, so yes, we'll pop that onto there, look. Uh, you can see that just clips on into place and looks very, very cool. Uh, so we've got that one on. Uh, we can put our uh, ring steps on that side. Our monitors over the other side. Gotta tell you, this goes together like an absolute dream. There's no dramas here whatsoever. I don't know what that, I don't know how that just clips in so easily, but bish, bish bash bosh, it's done. So we've got all of that. Oh, I hate, I hate it when the ropes come like this. It's like, oh, okay. Right, this might take a little bit of time. If we undo that one and undo uh, that one, and then maybe undo this one, I just don't know. I just don't know. Here we go. Has that done it? Has that done anything? Has that done any? Okay, that's come undone. Is that gonna come undone? Uh, kind of okay. Yeah. Okay. Bang in there. Bang in there. Look at this, guys. Actually, I take that all back. This is super easy. Super easy. Look at this and the ropes. You gotta love the ropes. Red, white, and blue. Uh, just like the good old USA, uh, and that's obviously how the ropes used to be. The ropes used to be uh, red, white, and blue. You can see that on early episodes of Monday Night Raw in particular. Uh, if we put the middle ropes on, bosh, bosh, and then the top rope. And I tell you, that clips on like an absolute dream. Uh, ring ropes are... Okay, maybe could be a little tighter, uh, but actually feel pretty much the same as they used to. I am amazed that that isn't smaller, as I said, because this really doesn't fit on as well as I hoped. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's just because this title is small. Let me try a different belt. I've got one of the old school tag titles. Let's give this a go. Uh, as you can see, this is the old uh, bronze and black tag team championship, uh, which was upside down. There we go. Uh, let's try that one. Ooh, even that's a little tight. Even that's a little tight. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure why that's that way. Uh, so, anyway, that's all done. Didn't need the instructions. Psh! And then, yes, there it is. Look. Uh, you could maybe put this in the middle of the ring or just slap it straight onto your face. Uh, don't do that. That might hurt. Uh, <laughs> now, I need to concentrate with this because I am the worst when it comes to stickers. Uh, so, let's do this. Here we go. Right. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. Yes, there it is, look. The old school logo as well, looks very, very cool. So we've got our ring, uh, we know the pros and the cons. Uh, down here, I've got a Brock Lesnar, so uh, let's open it. There we go, look, get inside, let's get the beast incarnate, let's set him free. Uh, so we've got Brock Lesnar. 
Ah, uh, look at this. Look, he's got the slamming action. See, that's something that the other Mattel figures don't do. This one's got an actual action to it, so you can do a gorilla press slam. I think it says on the packaging it's an F5. It's not an F5. An F5 goes over like that, doesn't it? But that's like a gorilla press slam. And look at the tattoo detail on the back. I had no idea that it had the back piece on it. I could see, obviously, the front piece. And look at the facial expression. He has got a proper snarl going on there, hasn't he? So we've got Brock Lesnar in the ring waiting for his opponent. Who is his opponent going to be? It's the warrior! <laughs> We've got the ultimate warrior. This ultimate warrior figure, I think, has got the exact same action. Um, yeah. Oh, has it? No. What does this one do? This one does like a side-to-side -side thing. What's that? What is that? Get ready for the gorilla press slam. Oh, I don't understand. That's not the gorilla press. This is more like an F5 because he's doing it from side to side. Uh, uh, Mattel, I think you got it the wrong way around. Uh, that is more of, I'd say, more of an F5 than a gorilla press slam. I would say that was more of a gorilla press slam. Um, but how cool is that, the action on this one as he goes side to side? Looks like he's doing uh, some kind of exercise. And right, 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 right. To the left, left, left. <laughs> to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and round, 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 and round. Okay, left. That was right. No, he's, he doesn't know he's right from his left. So here it is then, guys. You can see the figures in the ring, so it gives you a better idea of how big the ring is uh, compared to the figures. You can see how tall the figures are. Uh, if you put them against... They do go flying off. Like, there is definitely some elasticity uh, to these ropes. They call them pro-tension ropes. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, these have definitely got some pro-tension to them. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you've got the warrior in there as well. You can put him up top. Well, he's, this one, he's got his legs apart, hasn't he? So I'm not sure he's going to stand up there. But you can get other figures uh, that have got their legs together, and I think they should be able to stand up there. Uh, but doesn't look like the warrior will. Will Brock? Let's give Brock it. Doesn't look like Brock will either. Ah, oh, but he's got him ready for a German. Ah! Oh, look at this. Can he put him up into the gorilla press slam? Oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. He's on his feet. He's on his feet. Oh, one, two, three. Yes, the warrior. Da, 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 there he is, look, he's got the title belt. The Ultimate Warrior is the new WWE Champion. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.